One, one other area, though, that you talked earlier about, about the involvement with each other for caring for another person, um, <clears throat> which would give meaning to life, loving another person. We see in our society today that we become, I think, very individualistic, very materialistic. You have rightly put your finger on the fact that what an individual, a human being needs is what I'm used to calling self-transcendence. That is to say, being concerned with oneself or one's own prestige or one's own happiness is self-defeating. Forgive my contradicting the American Declaration of Independence in which you find the phrase pursuit of happiness. I deem that pursuit of happiness is a contradiction in terms. Because happiness can never be really pursued. Happiness must ensue. Happiness is a side effect. Happiness is a byproduct and must remain a byproduct for, of meaning fulfillment, of your dedication to a task, a cause greater than yourself or a person other than yourself. And this becomes most, most conspicuous in, in sexual neurosis, where precisely to the extent to which someone is hunting, chasing, pursuing sexual happiness or pleasure, he is doomed to failure, be it a male patient who wishes to demonstrate his sexual potency. To the same extent, he is likely to wind up with impotence. A female patient, precisely to the degree to which she wishes to demonstrate to herself that she is fully capable of orgasm, precisely to that extent, she is winding up with frigidity. On the other hand, the more you give yourself, the more you forget yourself in love or in work for the sake of a cause to serve or a person to love, to the very extent you will become happy precisely by not caring for happiness, precisely by overlooking and forgetting whether you are happy or not. It's always the same as with the, uh, with the boomerang. When I was once uh, giving a lecture at the University of Melbourne in Australia, they gave me a boomerang as a souvenir, a, a, a genuine boomerang. When I, uh, it was handed over to me, I suddenly had a, a, what is called in psychology, according to Karl Bühler, an aha experience. Suddenly I had the insight, this is the very symbol of human existence and the self-transcendent quality of the human reality. Because usually, we generally, it is assumed that it is the job of a boomerang to fulfill, to return to the hunter. That's not true, the Australian told me. Because only that boomerang returns to the hunter, that boomerang which in the first place had failed the target, you see, <laughs> the yes. prey. Right. And it is the same with man. Only that type of people are so intent on themselves and so eager to contemplate and to observe themselves, to actualize themselves, to interpret themselves, who in the first place had missed not a target, but a mission in their life, who had not found a meaning outward of them, or a human being other than themselves. This is self-transcendence. Not being primarily concerned with oneself, but something other than oneself, or still better, someone other than oneself. Man becomes himself. Man is actualizing his self. Man is human precisely to the extent to which he does, is not concerned with himself or anything with him, uh, him, himself, but living out his self-transcendence.